would you like to spend a morning connecting with native Hawaiian plants or learning hula and alelo Hawaii? I'd like it. Chris Latronic joins us now live from the Manoa Heritage Center with a look. Chris, good morning. So beautiful out there. Oh, fantastically beautiful here at the Manoa Valley, Manoa Heritage Center right here off of Oahu Avenue. And yes, it's been a, a fantastic morning just seeing beautiful blue skies and just being in this area has just uh, kind of feel the history of this spot. So to tell us more is Kumu Jenny Ingle. She's the Director of Education here. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Chris. Thank you so much for being here. So, you know, we're standing in our Visitor Education Hall. Uh, this is our classroom. This whole lower campus actually opened in 2018, um, although Manoa Heritage Center had been founded in 1996. Um, the addition of this space has really allowed us to um, not only continue to serve school groups, which is kind of our primary audience, but also to reach out to the community. And so this classroom is filled on the weekends with practitioners, kumu, um, teaching different workshops. That's amazing. So yeah, just within the past, what, six years, you've been starting to see community members come here. And uh, a little bit later, they're going to have uh, about 40 students come in here and really learn. But also, you have some great offerings that are coming up for the public that they can enjoy, like uh, nature journaling. Tell us a little bit about that. Right. So nature journaling, it's actually this really cool artistic practice. So it's the practice of combining your thoughts and observations of the aina uh, using words, numbers, and drawings. And what I love about nature journaling is you don't have to be an artist. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is being, be interested in being outdoors. And so this is the perfect venue for a workshop like that. That's amazing. I think everybody can relate to that. But also, we have uh, some great little uh, things that were used with native plants right here. Tell us about it. Right. So this whole section is kind of our kappa section. And so all of these materials were made out of wauke, which is uh, paper mulberry, the preferred material for making kappa in Hawaii. Of course, kappa is Hawaiian bark cloth. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we have examples of pieces of kappa. You know, this is the wauke in the stage when it's first collected wow. from the plant. Um, this would then be soaked and then beaten. Um, of course, this process, you know, uh, for kappa for ali'i could take, you know, hundreds of hours to make one piece. I mean, when you think about um, some of the beautiful examples at, for example, Bishop Museum, like mm -hmm. the large sheets of kappa, yes. um, it's it's pretty incredible that it comes from a plant that, you know, a piece of fiber that starts out like this. Yeah, and you can see right there the picture of uh, the, when it's uh, in the ground, right? Right, exactly. And, you know, Hawaiian kappa is especially um, exemplary in the Pacific because it actually can be pounded so thin um, that it doesn't look like uh, it has any seams. Wow, that's amazing. And just learning about so much different plants. And again, just uh, in Hawaii, all these are very, very unique because, uh, I mean, before even man came here, there was all a pretty much harmonious uh, context that you don't see these anywhere around the world. But also, one of the good classes, uh, you can learn hula for the first time. Right. So in addition to nature journaling tomorrow, we also have in the afternoon a papahula aolelo, um, hula in Hawaiian language. Uh, that is taught by uh, Kumu Colette Momi Akana. Um, she is a longtime educator, has spent 40 years teaching at Kamehameha Middle School. And so we're really, really excited to include her in our offerings. She actually has a seven week series. Again, you don't have to have any prior um, experience to join her class, just yeah. an interest. Yes, that's amazing and so informative here. And you can learn so much. And this is uh, where you want to go. And we'll also have a link on our website with more. Jenny Engel, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chris. Okay, it's our pleasure. So come down here, Monoa Heritage Center. We'll also have a link on our website on how you can enjoy these great class offerings. This is Chris Atronic working for Hoy right here at the beautiful and majestic Manoa Heritage Center. Sending things back to you. Just a beautiful opportunity right yeah, there. Yeah, incredible.